Hi, I'm Yichi. This paper is called Information Elicitation from Rowdy Cross with Gran and Feng Yi. Suppose you are doing crowdsourcing on some platform like Amazon Mechanical Turk, and you're dealing with a crowd consists of only rational agents. Then you're good, since we know a batch of good mechanisms can deal with rational agents. However, if a fraction of agents are adversarial, maybe we are not that lucky. In the first case, the mechanism is vulnerable. As a result, the rational agent will want to lie to maximize their payment. In this way, the data you collected have low quality. In the second case, your mechanism is robust and the, the rational agent still want to tell the truth, even though there's a fraction of adversarial agents. In this case, we are good. So the question is how to design robust mechanisms while dealing with the rowdy cross consists of both rational agents and the adversarial agents. On one hand, we know that the traditional mechanism design can handle strategic agents, who are also called rational agents, by designing truthful mechanism to incentivize them to tell the truth. On the other hand, we know that robust learning can deal with a fraction of the adversarial agents, while well, assuming the rest are honest. In this way, they can output something robust again against the adversarial attack. We are giving a a uh, crowd of both rational and adversarial agents, our idea is to first use the robust learning algorithm to get rid of the influence of the adversarial agents and use the clean output to design truthful mechanisms such that the rest rational agent can be properly incentivized. Considering there are n agents and m tasks, half our fraction of the agents are adversarial while the rest agents are rational. We consider a finite signal space where each agent i and each task j, the signal x i j belong to the finite space x. The tasks are assumed to be a priori similar, which means for each task, the agent's reports are sampled in iid from some prior p. We use x hat to denote the reports while using x to denote the signals. The strategies for rational agents can be seen as a random mapping from the signal space to distribution over the signal space. Here, sigma i is assumed to be task independent, which means the rational agent i will determine their random mapping ahead, and this mapping is fixed for different tasks. Especially, we use tau to denote truthful strategies where all the agents tell the truth we are using this theta i to denote the uninformed strategies where agents' reports are independent on their signals. For example, always reporting one and reporting randomly could be uh, uninformed strategies. As for adversarial agents, uh, we consider this as a single one adversarial agent control the, the alpha n group of adversarial agents collectively. So their strategy can be, a, can be seen an, as an arbitrary mapping from their signals to their reports collectively. Furthermore, instead of assuming the task to be task independent, here sigma a can be arbitrarily correlated. A mechanism M will map agents reports to their rewards using this L function. And here we assume there's no cost. So the agent's uh, utility will be simply be equal to the expected value of the payment. In our paper, we have an argument that we can generalize this no cost setting to any fixed set cost setting easily. The goal for the rational agents is to choose sigma i to maximize their utility ui. Well, as for the adversarial agents, their goal could be arbitrary. Maybe just that they just want to collude and try to mess up the system. Our first goal of designing mechanism is that regardless of the adversarial strategies, we want the rational agents don't want to deviate from truth telling. This gives us 
a definition called epsilon uniform epsilon basin Nash equilibrium, which basically says that whatever sigma a is, any single deviation from the sigma r the strategy profile of rational agents cannot bring actual utility larger than epsilon for every rational agent i. Then we call this strategy profile an epsilon basin Nash equilibrium. Furthermore, not only we want truth telling to be an equilibrium, we want it to be a preferred equilibrium in the sense that truth telling strategy profile will give you a utility somewhere here, but an arbitrary strategy profile of a rational agent cannot bring actual utility larger than something like epsilon, which means uh, the sigma, sigma r here cannot be too large than uh, tau. Furthermore, if rational agents play the uninformed strategies, then the their utility is down here. The gap between tau and theta should be strictly larger than two epsilon. If we can do this, then we call the mechanism is epsilon informed truthful. Furthermore, we call a mechanism asymptotically informed truthful if this uh, arrow epsilon can be arbitrarily small with large enough n and m. Previously, we have some literature that considering using mutual information to design mechanisms, uh, including this uh, Cohn and Schoenbeck paper, but there are also a lot of others. So the mutual information we consider here is called the total variation distance mutual information, which is simply defined as the TVD divergence between agents joint distribution minus the product of the marginal distributions of random variables x and y. Note that this mutual information is always upper bounded by one in any cases. A term that we use more frequently in our paper is called term-wise mutual information, which dealt with two random vectors x and y with the same length and iid entries. Then the term-wise mutual information is defined as the mutual information of any entry. An important property of the mutual information is called a data processing inequality, which means any function applied on X can only decrease the mutual information if M and Y are independent to condition on X. So this property gives mutual information a powerful tool to design truthful mechanisms because uh, consider X and Y are agents reports uh, signals then M could be agents report. And this inequality means any strategies will only decrease your mutual information score. So the previous mutual information mechanism considered the case that we pay agent I some estimation of the term-wise mutual information between an agent I and an arbitrary pair J. So we provide a framework that using this idea we simply pay agent I some robust estimation of the mutual information. Furthermore, we generalize this random selection method to a function f. In the first case, if f is a random, random pair selection function, then we are reduced to the previous case. We consider such method in the general setting, for which we will say soon. In the second case, f could be a ground truth recovery function. Um, where, which collects agents report and learn the ground truth robustly. In this case, we consider the DS model as an example. Now we provide two examples for our framework. The first one is the peer prediction in general setting, where agents signals are correlated, but texts do not necessarily have ground truth. Now our idea to estimate this mutual information is to let f to be a uniformly random selection function, where we're focusing on estimating the mutual information robustly. A corollary of our paper says that if you can robustly estimate and pay the mutual information between agents' reports uh, with an error as the most epsilon for any agent, rational agent, then the mechanism is too epsilon informed truthful. In this way, we transform the problem into how to estimate the mutual information between agents' reports 
robustly. One naive idea is to, okay, we, are par uh, we pair agent I with another random agent. Then we simply empirically estimate the mutual information using agents reports. Then what will happen? With probability one minus alpha, agent I is paired with another rational agent. In this case, he is safe, since the mutual information can be estimated with small error. However, with probability alpha, agent I is, is paired with a, a, a adversarial agents. In this case, we don't know how large the arrow could be, but we know the arrow is always bounded by one, since the mutual information is bounded by one. Then you can imagine that this naive mechanism is something like alpha informed truth form, which is proportional to the fraction of adversarial agents. The question is, can we do better than this? Probably we can, right? Uh, if we assume agents are symmetric, in the sense, first, the joint distribution between any pair of agent signals are, is the same. And second, agents play the symmetric strategies. Then we can not only use a, a single agent J's report to estimate the mutual information. Now we can use all the other agents report to estimate the mutual information since agents are symmetric here. We provide a tool called batch learning algorithm that the goal is to estimate some unknown distribution P using this uh, samples you know, matrix form. And we have NL batches uh, with each batch KL uh, samples. We know that an alpha fraction of the batches are adversarially corrupted, while the rest are IID samples. Then if you input this matrix to the batch learning algorithm, they can guarantee you an estimation of the distribution P tilde that is close to P with an arrow upper bounded by alpha over square root of KL. So that means if your KL is large enough, you can have an arrow arbitrarily small. Now based on such idea, we design our mechanism using the batch learning algorithm. In the first stage, our goal is to estimate the joint distribution between agents I and J's report. Notice that Agents reports are IID for different tasks and agents are symmetric. So we can, in this way, we can, for each task, we can only, uh, we can pair agent I's report with an arbitrary agent's report as one sample for this batch learning algorithm. And we do this for every task. We will get N minus, minus one batches of samples, which each batch uh, says of m over n minus one. Notice that here it seems like m should be larger than n in some sense. However, we have an argument that we can always divide uh, the agents into smaller groups such that m does not necessarily have to be quite larger than n. In the second stage, given this estimation of the joint distribution, we can simply compute the term-wise mutual information and pay agents that amount. Here, notice that the mutual information is nothing more than the divergence of joint distribution minus the product of marginal distributions. So the stage two is quite easy. Uh, we prove that this mechanism is asymptotically informed truth for, for symmetric strategy profiles. However, can we do better than this? since like the symmetric strategy profile is very limited. We provide a positive answer in the DS setting, DS model, where attacks have ground truth. And given the ground truth, agent signals are IID samples from the same confusion matrix. Here, our idea is to design this F robustly, like let F be a ground truth recovery function. And we simply pay agent I the estimation of the mutual information between her report and a recovered ground truth. We prove that this mechanism is asymptotically informed truth for, for any strategy profiles, which is stronger than previously. Finally, we'll point two possible generalizations of our work. First, how to use honest agents smartly. And second is, is it possible to detect and punish adversarial agents 
We don't we don't know the answer yet. 